Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Makia FX, and today we are doing our analysis for Euro JPY. As you know, already, even though we are on a long term uptrend, Euro JPY is quite falling. The market right now is, is going downwards, and most of the bears are taking control over the market. As you can see, if you look at the market right now in a daily time frame, we saw a very strong doji candle forming around this area. As you can see, this is a strong doji candle a bearish doji, doji candle and once this bearish doji candle formed we knew that the market was going to go downwards and that's what happened so on monday we had a doji candle tuesday bearish wednesday bearish so but actually right now we are at a point where i want to call it a a support zone because that is this is where the market is kind of like consolidating like kind of like um the bulls are taking over the market at this area so this is the daily time frame too so daily it is bearish okay now let's go to the four hour time frame the four hour time frame is pretty much the same stuff it's pretty much the same stuff this is a, a small demand zone around this area and we can see that when market push beyond that zone we are seeing how the bulls are trying to push over the market but still yet if you look at the the trend line it's still bearish so what did i drew i drew a double top formation because that's what i saw in the one hour time frame let me just go to the one hour time frame real quick so this is the one hour time frame and in the one hour time frame in which i was trading i saw that when prices came to this area which is called the resistance zone or you may call it a supply zone we saw that this at this area we had a double top formation we, this is a, this is point a this is b this is what we call a double top formation so when we had this double top formation it was more of like a confirmation and at this confirmation what happened prices fell down you may call this area a neckline and as you can see prices formed if you just draw this small line this little neckline so if you want to just draw this little neckline at this area you realize that when prices fell down beyond the neckline it came and formed it's a resistance around the neckline as you can see in this area so that's what has been pushing prices down for the past three days as you can see so currently right now euro jpy is trading downwards is going on a downward spiral and that is what we have been trading i've been taking some sales in the market right now but let's just go a little bit to the 50 minutes time frame and see what's going on clearly as you can see in the 50 minutes time frame we are seeing everything clearly we are seeing that the market has has gone beyond this beyond this previous support zone and it is currently trading beyond the support zone so probably right now the support will become the resistance if you know what i'm saying now let's look at the stochastics and the indicators in the st stochastics as right now we can see that it is at an, at an oversold you no know, overbought area and it's going to fall down and if it's falling down it will fall beyond this area it will fall beyond this area so i'm mean, just going to put something like this we have some news that are going to be released today we have the feds in interest rate so i still believe that your jpy will still fall downwards it will still fall downward because if the interest rate is is going to be positive for the usd that means that it will be bearish for the euro and that's what's going to happen today so with that said i'll just say that if you're looking for any trades in the euro jpy i'll suggest you go in for sales because right now that's what's going to happen in the market until we see a, a strong reversal candle forming in the market anyways thanks for watching what do you think about this video leave your thoughts in the comment section and see you guys in the next video bye